Hello everyone. Today's video um is on the true fact that abortion is murder. Um okay, so abortion is obviously a sin, since clearly abortion is murder. And there is absolutely no excuse to have an abortion at all. Abortion is certainly not okay, and the sixth commandment say, well, the sixth commandment clearly says, "Thou shalt not kill." Abortion is murder, since abortion is killing a baby in the womb. If you are not suitable to take care of the baby, then give the baby up for adoption rather than having an abortion. The sanctity of life is very important. We were created in the image of God. We were fearfully and wonderfully made. Human life is a wonderful gift from God. We should not support abortion at all because ab abortion is murder. There, there clearly are moral absolutes, and abortion is absolutely wrong. Likewise, it is never okay to have an abortion. Also, we should not vote for someone who supports abortion. Clearly, abortion is evil, and we should be completely against abortion. We should definitely be pro-life. Oh, and being pro-life means that you are completely against abortion. Human life is very important and very special, since humans are created in the image of God. Okay, so obviously, humans are not animals, and scientifically, we are not animals, so clearly, Humans are not animals. Evidence that humans are not animals is that we have dominion over the animals since we were created in God's image. Uh, okay, so, humans are not in the animal kingdom since humans are not animals. There is a difference in between humans and animals. The difference in between humans and animals is that humans were created in God's image and animals were not. Oh yeah, and humans also have a conscience while animals do not. Okay, so we should not believe in the secular science because the secular science is secular dogma and secular propaganda that is unstable and completely unscientific. The secular science is not the true science, since the true science is creationism, and specif specifically young earth creationism. Okay, so in conclusion, abortion is completely evil, since abortion is murder. It is never okay to support abortion. We should be completely against abortion. Alright, so I hope you learned the truth in this video. Please subscribe. Have a nice day. And goodbye. Well, hello everyone. Okay. So... Today's video is on We Are Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. Let's begin. I saw all of us are fearfully and wonderfully made. Likewise, everyone is beautiful on the outside, but how beautiful someone is on the inside depends on their behavior. Ooh, 
we should not be calling other people ugly, since that is obviously not nice. When you want to get into a relationship, then you should not look on the outside, but on the heart. The only thing that, or the only thing that should matter when trying to start a relationship is if the person is a true Christian, not anything else. You might have heard of the saying, do not judge a book by its cover. Um, this saying is true, since we really should never judge a book by its cover. Likewise, we should never judge someone by their appearance. Bullying is a serious problem that has affected many people. Obviously, bullying is a sin. So, clearly, it is never okay to bully people no matter what. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. For those of you who are currently being bullied, I would recommend that you tell a parent a guardian, or a friend that you are being bullied. If you are in school or college and is currently being bullied, then I would recommend that you tell a parent, a guardian, a friend, a teacher, or a principal that you are being bullied. O okay, so in conclusion, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We should never bully others, no matter what, and we should never be mean to other people, no matter what. Remember, if you want to start a re relationship, look on the heart, never on the outward appearance, since in starting a relationship, the only thing that matters is if the person is a true Christian. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe. Have a nice day. And goodbye. Well, hello everyone. It's the Granola Creationist here. And today I will be exposing feminism. Alright. Feminism is a worldly movement that blatantly goes against the Bible thus making feminism a corrupt movement. Feminism supports abortion, and obviously abortion is murder. And the Sixth Commandment says, Thou shalt not kill. And since abortion is murder, abortion is a sin. And there are absolutely no excuses for abortion. Any movement that supports sin of any kind is corrupt. And feminism is one of them, since feminism supports the sin of abortion. Let's view Revelation 21, 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Revelation 21, 8, KJV. Abortion is murder, and the Bible warns that murderers will not inherit the kingdom of God. Feminism also goes against the biblical roles of a husband and wife, thus making feminism absolutely unacceptable. Since feminism goes blatantly against the Bible, us Christians should not support feminism at all. Feminism is also of the world. Let's view Romans 12 verse 2. And 1 John 2:15 through 17. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12 to KJV. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the f um the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, 
but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. 1 John 2, 15-17, KJV Feminism is of the world, since feminism supports the sin of abortion, the sin of homosexuality, and goes against the biblical roles of a husband and wife. Because of this, feminism is absolutely evil, and feminism is leading people to hell. Feminism also supports homosexuality, and obviously, homosexuality is a sin. Let's view Leviticus 18.22 and 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Leviticus 18.22 KJV Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminates, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor, re nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 9-10, KJV Homosexuality is a sin, and homosexuality is a disgusting perversion of marriage and sex. In the Old Testament, someone would be stoned to death if they committed that sin. Let's view Leviticus 20.13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. Leviticus 20.13 KJV In the Old Testament, if someone committed the sin of homosexuality, then that person would be stoned to death. In conclusion, feminism is a worldly movement that is absolutely worthless, vile, sinful, and stupid. Since feminism goes against the Bible, us Christians should not support feminism at all. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day, and goodbye. Hello everyone, today I will be exposing a false teacher known as Sir Brenda Davies from the Goddess Ray YouTube channel. Okay, so Brenda Davies from the Goddess Ray YouTube channel promotes progressive Christianity, which is a false form of Christianity that is literally a gospel of the flesh, and it has deceived millions or even billions of people. Brenda Davies also does an erroneous twisting of scripture by teaching several other false t doctrines. Any twisting of scripture is erroneous by the way. Let's take a look at scripture. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the race of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another, but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ, but even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you, then what we have preached to you, let him be accursed, as we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. Galatians 1 verses 6 through 9 in KJV. Obviously, if a preacher teaches false doctrine, then the preacher is a false teacher. It is important to learn the truth, so this way we do not get deceived. Brenda Davies supports feminism as well. Feminism is a secular movement that has some sinful views, like supporting lesbianism and abortion, and opposing the biblical roles of husbands and wives. When you take a look at these facts, you will find that feminism is actually sinful, due to the troubling views of feminism. Brenda Davies also teaches the false teaching of Jesus being a feminist. Clearly, Jesus Christ was not a feminist. Jesus Christ does not support feminism, since feminism is a sinful movement due to the troubling views of feminism. Brenda Davies also supports abortion as well, and clearly, abortion is murder. And the Sixth Commandment says, You shall not murder. And since abortion is murder, Abortion is a blatant violation of the Sixth Commandment, since abortion is the murder of a baby. It is clear that abortion is absolutely wrong, since abortion is a sin. 
Brenda Davies have also made false claims about the Bible being wrong about homosexuality. Those false claims are obviously a damnable heresy that is blasphemous, since the Bible is not wrong about anything at all. The Bible is against homosexuality. Let's take a look at scripture. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 and 10 and KJV. Obviously, the Bible warns that homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. It is clear that homosexuality is a sin. In conclusion, Brenda Davies from the God is Grey YouTube channel is a false teacher who teaches fabricated doctrines. Any teaching that contradicts the Bible is a false teaching, since the whole Bible is 100% true. Okay, I hope you are warned that Brenda Davies from the God is Grey YouTube channel is a false teacher. I also I also hope you enjoyed watching this video as well. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day and goodbye. Well, hello everyone. Today I will be exposing progressive Christianity. Uh, okay, so progressive Christianity is a false kind of Christianity since progressive Christianity contradicts the doctrines of Christianity. Progressive Christianity is laden with heresies that conform to the world. That's view Romans 12 too. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12 to KJV. We should not conform to the world. We must stick with Biblically sound teaching, even if it is considered controversial by the world. We must have a zero-tolerance stance on the doctrines of the world, that alone damnable heresies. And therefore, we must have a zero-tolerance stance on anything that is sinful, even if wickedness is being celebrated by the world. There are a lot of progressive heretics like Rebrenda Davis and Brandon Robertson, who are splitting cow wide open by preaching damnable heresies that conform to the sinful culture which is of the world. What is even worse about progressive Christianity is that progressive Christianity well progressive Christianity approves of homosexuality, abortion, and many other ways of the world. And that makes progressive Christianity a damnable heresy. Just like how egalitarianism is a damnable heresy due to its approval of female pastors and the denial of the biblical roles of the husband and the wife. And those are the re and those are the reasons why egalitarianism is a damnable heresy. First Timothy two twelve through fourteen, first Timothy three, one through five, and first Corinthians fourteen thirty four makes it very clear that women um, that women cannot be pastors, ministers, nor hold any other leadership position in the church. All egalitarianism does is lead people to hell. That's view Romans 1, 24-27. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error which was met.
Romans 1, 24 through 27, KJV. The sin of homosexuality is an abomination that is a disgusting perversion of marriage and sex and is unnatural. All, okay, so all progressive Christianity does is lead people to hell due to its approval of worldliness and a sinful lifestyle. Romans 6 makes it very clear that you cannot continue living in sin and still be saved, and we cannot trample underfoot the blood of Jesus Christ. And because of this, Romans 6 refutes the rebellious heresy of antinomianism, aka once saved, always saved, and so does Jude 1 4. And Romans 6 also re refutes progressive Christianity egalitarianism, and any heresy that approves of sin. Romans 1 and Romans 6 both are speaking to the church today. Progressive Christianity is a giant insult to Jesus Christ. Now, um, let's go see Jude 1, 4. And here it is. Alright, so here's Jude 1 4. For there are certain men, crabs, and unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into the shiviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's Jude 1 4 KJV. I saw likewise for Jude one four um warns against the people um who turn the her, her, who turn the grace of God in, into a license to sin. And that is exactly what the antinomian preachers do. And uh, Anti and all antinomianism does is lead people to hell. Oh, and to, uh, last Wednesday, as of when this video was made, a 44 minute movie exposing the false action of antinomianism um, called The Antinomian Delusion was released. And that is a re really good movie, and I hope you enjoy watching that movie. And I also hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Have a nice day, please subscribe, and goodbye. Well, hello everyone, it's the Granola Creationist here, and today's video will be the... A warning about hell. Uh, okay, so, hell is a very real, scary place where there will be weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. And hell is also filled with permanent suffering, permanent regrets, and permanent shame. The people who are headed for hell are the unsaved people. Let's view 1 Corinthians 6, 9-10. through 10. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor, Id nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminates, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 9-10 KJV People who die in their sins will end up in hell, and hell is where there is weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth, suffering, pain, shame, and regrets, for all of eternity. Living a life of sin will lead you to hell, and this is why we should not live a life of sin. Now let's view Revelation 14, 10 through 11. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the, pre in the presence of of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. 
and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth his, the mark of his name. Revelation 14, 10-11 KJV The people who end up in hell will be tormented with fire and brimstone, and on top of that, the smoke of their torment will rise up for all of eternity, and they will have no rest day or night. Those, painf uh, those painful things will happen to the people who end up in hell, and if someone takes the mark of the beast, then they cannot get saved after that. There are also many false doctrines that are leading people to hell, and some infamous examples of false doctrines that are leading people to hell are oneness, once saved, always saved, the prosperity gospel, the little gods heresy, etc. If you are deceived by one of the false doctrines that I listed in this example, or if you are deceived by any other damnable heresies, then please stop believing in those heresies. Hanging on to heresy is like building a house on sand. It is foolish to hang on to heresy. And now the question is, how do I get saved? Okay, to get saved... Okay, so you must be saved in order to be headed for heaven. And to get saved, you must repent of your sins and trust alone in Jesus Christ. Let's view... 2 Corinthians 6, 2 For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians 6, 2 KJV The Bible says that now is the day of salvation. The next moment... That alone, the next day is never guaranteed, so please accept Jesus Christ today. Repent of your sins and trust alone in Jesus Christ. And if you repent of your sins and trust alone in Jesus Christ, then you will be saved and you will go to heaven right after you die. Anyways, it's the Granola Creationist here. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day and goodbye. Hello everyone, uh, okay, so, oh, today I am going to be exposing the entire secular worldview in this video, so this will obviously be a big video. The secular worldview is a false worldview filled with a lot of fabrications, and the secular science is a false science that has a lot of fabricated theories and a multitude of false teachings that have already been scientifically disproved by the Bible. The secular science teaches Darwinian evolution, which is an infamous fabrication that is completely unscientific. Darwinian evolution is not true at all. Humans have never evolved from apes, and animals have never evolved, since humans and animals always reproduce according to their kind. The secular science also teaches a 4.6 billion year old Earth, which is a fabricated age of the Earth. The Earth is not 4.6 billion years old, and the, and the gap theory is not true either. The Earth is around 6,000 years old according to the Biblical timeline, and obviously the Biblical timeline is true. Now let's expose another fabrication known as the Big Bang. The Big Bang is another fabrication that was made up by secular scientists. The Big Bang did not happen at all. Explosions never create order, since explosions always create chaos. Obviously, secular scientists are actually fake scientists, while on the other hand, young Earth creationists are the real scientists. Now let's expose a false determination of age, pod, carbon dating, and other secular dating methods. 
but obviously, carbon-14 and many other secular dating methods give you a fabricated age. Likewise, carbon dating and all the other secular dating methods are completely unreliable since they do not give the true age. Now, let's expose the billions of years line. The universe is not 13.7 billion years old, and the dinosaurs did not go extinct 65 million years ago. The billions of years line obviously comes from the secular science, which is a fabricated science. The universe is only 6,000 years old, the Earth is only 6,000 years old, and the dinosaurs likely went extinct sometime after the global flood. That's exposed the fabricated claim of humans being animals. Obviously, humans are not animals, and humans are not in the animal kingdom at all. Since humans were created in God's image, more evidence that humans are not animals is that humans have a conscience while animals do not have a conscience. For example, you won't see or you won't see gorillas, giraffes, or horses creating a, a court system to serve justice. The secular worldview also attempts to redefine marriage, while clearly the secular worldview cannot redefine marriage, since God created marriage, and marriage is strictly one man and one woman. Okay, so, clearly, gay marriage is not the true marriage at all. Gay marriage and homosexuality are a disgusting perversion of marriage and sex. Polygamy is also a disgusting perversion of marriage and sex, since marriage is strictly one man and one woman. So God, created, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Genesis 1 verses 27 and 28 in IV. But obviously, God created marriage, and God defines marriage as one man and one woman. We should know that the true marriage is strictly one man and one woman. Now, let's expose the multiple races fabrication that obviously came from the Darwinian evolution myth. We are not multiple races at all, because there are not multiple races, since we are all one race. The one race that we all are is the human race. Everyone is all one race, because we are all descendants of Adam and Eve. The secular worldview also promotes abortion, and abortion is murder. Abortion is a blatant violation of the Sixth Commandment, since the Sixth Commandment says, Thou shalt not kill. If you are unable to take care of a, of the baby, then you should give him or her up for adoption. Abortion is completely wrong, and there are no excuses for abortion, since abortion is murder. Okay, uh, 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 so, euthanasia is completely evil, since euthanasia is murder. Euthanasia is a blatant violation of the Sixth Commandment, since the Sixth Commandment says, Thou shalt not kill. There are no excuses for euthanasia at all, because euthanasia is completely wrong since euthanasia is murder. In conclusion, the secular science is a fake science, and the secular worldview is a false worldview that has been completely disproved by the Bible. Okay, I hope you learned a lot from this video. And I also hope you learned that the secular worldview is completely false. Please subscribe and have a nice day. Goodbye. Well, hello everyone. It's Jordan Power here, and today I will be exposing the false teacher, Brandon Robertson. Alright, so... Brandon Robertson is a damnable heretic who teaches the fabricated doctrine 
infamously known as Progressive Christianity. Progressive Christianity is a damnable heresy that approves of the sin of homosexuality. Homosexuality is a sin and is also an abomination that is a disgusting perversion of marriage and sex. That's view Romans 1, 24-27. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the, the lusts of their own hearts, to, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was met. Romans 1, 24-27 KJV Romans 1 completely dismantles the damnable heresy of progressive Christianity. Progressive Christianity is a damnable heresy that is splitting hell wide open. Brandon Robertson also teaches a heck ton of erroneous heresies, and many of which are damnable heresies. And Progressive Christianity is one of those damnable heresies that Brandon Robertson teaches. Let's view Matthew 7, 18-23. A good tree cannot bring forth evil, evil fruits, Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is honed down and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits he shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name am done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Matthew seven eighteen through 23 KJV You cannot continue living in sin and still be saved. Matthew seven eighteen through 23 completely refutes the damnable heresy of progressive Christianity, the damnable heresy of egalitarianism, the damnable heresy of antinomianism, and any other sin-centered damnable heresy. Brandon Robertson also de- oh, sorry. Brandon Robertson also denies the divinity, perfection, and inerrancy of the Bible. By doing this, Brandon Robertson is teaching a damnable heresy that is extremely blasphemous. That's for John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1, 1, KJV God is infallible, and since the Bible is the Word of God, the Bible is infallible, perfect, and divine. Brandon Robertson also falsely accused Jesus Christ of being racist, and it was blasphemous that Brandon Robertson did so because Jesus Christ is not racist at all, and Jesus Christ was never racist. Jesus Christ also hates racism because racism is a sin. Racism is a sin since racism is hatred, and the Bible strongly condemns racism in 1 John 3.15. Since Jesus Christ never sins, Jesus Christ is not racist, and Jesus Christ was also never racist at all. In conclusion, Brandon Robertson is a damnable heretic who is splitting hell wide open, and is, oh, and, oh, his preaching is filled with heresies. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Please, sub please subscribe to my channel and share this video. And goodbye. Everyone, today I will be exposing a false religion known as secularism. Okay, so, secularism is a false religion that has a lot of false teachings, like the Big Bang, the billions of years lying, 
Darwinian evolution, carbon-14, etc. If a teaching contradicts the, the Bible, then the teaching is a false teaching, since the entire Bible is completely true. Secularism is an atheistic cult that basically denies God's existence, which is blatantly disrespectful to the Lord. The Bible says that it is foolish to, de to deny God's existence. God clearly does exist. Let's look at Gen Genesis 1 verse 1 in ASB. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 verse 1 in ASB. One Bible, one Bible verse alone can prove that God does exist. The Bible itself indeed proves that God does exist. The creation itself is also proof that God exists. Secularism also teaches the false doctrine of Darwinian evolution as well. Darwinian evolution is an erroneous doctrine that is completely worthless, and Darwinian evolution can easily be refuted by the Bible. Let's look at Genesis 1 verse 1. In the, be in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 verse 1 in NASB. Now let's look at Genesis 1 verses 24 through 28 in NASB. Then God said, Let the earth produce living creatures according to their kind, livestock, and crawling things, and animals of the earth according to their kind, and it was so. God made the animals of the earth according to their kind, and the livestock according to their kind, and everything that crawls on the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over the, the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every crawling thing that crawls on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, and rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over every living, living thing that moves on the earth. Genesis 1 verses 24 through 28 and AASV. Obviously, intelligent design is completely true, since God created the humans, animals, nature, planets, stars, galaxy, and the whole universe. <laughs> Humans have always reproduced according to their kind, and animals have always reproduced according to their kind, thus proving that Darwinian evolution is a damnable heresy that is racist, misogyni misogynistic, and worthless. Secularism also teaches a false teaching of the Big Bang. The Big Bang is a worthless fairy tale that is easily refuted by the Bible. The Big Bang... Okay, so the Big Bang myth is described as being an explosion, and explosions always create chaos, since explosions never create order, thus proving that the Big Bang never happens. Secularism also used a false age calculation. Okay, secularism also uses a false age calculation, infamously known as carbon fourteen. Carbon dating, aka carbon fourteen is a completely unreliable calculation of age. The proper way to calculate the age of the Earth or the age of certain rock layers is to look through the Biblical timeline. Secularism also has the false doctrine, infamously known as the billions of years fabrication. The Earth is not billions of years old. The Earth is only 6,000 years old. The universe is not billions of years old. The universe is only 6,000 years old. Secularism also teaches the multiple races heresy, which is such an erroneous doctrine. Since there is only one race, which is the human race, we are all one race since we are all descendants of Adam and Eve, thus proving that the multiple races teaching is a false teaching. In conclusion, secularism is a cult that is completely worthless and is filled with so much heresy. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Goodbye.
Well, hello everyone, it's the Granola Creationist here, and today I'll be doing a video which is titled Atheism and Secularism are Inappropriate for Children. Okay, so, Atheism and Secularism are Inappropriate for Children. Atheism and Secularism are both dangerous cults that are spitting cow wide open with their fabricated science, erroneous teachings, and worthless atheistic fairy tales like Darwinian evolution. Atheism is a fraud, and secularism is a fraud. God clearly does exist, and there- Oh, and uh, oh, there is proof of God's existence. Okay, well, here is proof of God's existence. If you see a building, then that is proof of a builder. If you see a painting, then that's proof that there was a painter. When you see a creation, aka nature, then that's proof of a creator, aka God. Building, builder. Painting, painter. Creation, creator. The Bible proves that God exists, and the Bible does so in just one verse. That's view Genesis 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1 verse 1 KJV The Bible proves that God does exist, and the whole Bible is 100% true, so it is obvious that God does exist. It is actually foolish to deny God's existence. The Darwinian evolution myth is inappropriate for children as well, since Darwinian evolution is a damnable heresy that is splitting cow wide open. Darwinian evolution is a fraud. The billions of years lie is a fraud. Carbon dating is a fraud. The Big Bang is a fraud. Secular science is a fraud. The multiple races lie is a fraud. Darwinian evolution is a racist and misogynistic heresy that is perfectly refuted by the Bible. And the Bible is also against racism and misogyny. Clearly racism, I saw clearly racism is a sin and misogyny is a sin. Racism, I saw racism is hatred and misogyny is hatred and hatred is murder. Now let's view 1 John 3 verse 15. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. 1 John 3 verse 15 KJV Obviously, racism and misogyny are a sin, since racism and misogyny is hatred, and is wrong. Darwinian evolution is a racist and misogynistic false doctrine that is splitting cow wide open. Darwinian evolution is also false, since the Bible proves that humans and animals reproduce according to their kind. Since the whole Bible is completely true, if a teaching contradicts the Bible, then the then I saw if a teaching contradicts the Bible, then the teaching is a false doctrine. There is absolutely no evidence for Darwinian evolution, and any evidence that people claim to give for Darwinian evolution is false evidence, since Darwinian evolution cannot be proven. Since Darwinian evolution is absolutely is absolutely false, Darwinian evolution is nothing but a worthless fairy tale that is splitting cow wide open. The billions of years lie is another worthless fairy tale as well, since the Earth and the universe are six thousand years old. No, I mean, not billions of years old, and. If the biblical timeline proves that the Earth and the universe are both 6,000 years old. Children should not be taught the secular science, since the secular science is not true, and secular science is filled with false doctrines. The Earth and the universe are 6,000 years old. Humans and animals always reproduce according to their kind. The Bible is completely true. Carbon dating is not reliable at all, secular science is not reliable at all, and the Big Bang never happened. 
The Big Bang is a worthless fairy tale that was made up by secularists who teach a fabricated science. In conclusion, atheism and secularism are both inappropriate for children, since atheism and secularism are both worthless cults that are splitting cow wide open. Children should not be taught any of the atheistic nonsense or the secular nonsense. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, have a nice day, and goodbye. Well, hello everyone. Today I will be um, teaching uh, about or teaching young earth creationism to our future generations. Uh, Alright, so teaching young earth creationism to our future generations is a very good idea. Because young earth creationism genuinely tells people where they actually came from, how we got here, the records of history found in the Bible, and the Ten Commandments. The foundation of the biblical worldview is Genesis 1 to 11. The first four seas of the seventh seas of history are in Genesis 1 to 11. The seventh seas of history are creation, corruption, catastrophe, confusion, Christ, cross, and consummation. If you already have children, then you should teach your children young earth creationism as facts, because then they will they will learn the biblical worldview and they will hopefully accept the biblical worldview as facts. It is very important that we teach our future generations young earth creationism as facts, since our future generations will impact our society, and we should definitely preach the gospel to our future generations, since if they accept the gospel, then that will have a positive impact on society and a positive impact on the church. If you own a Christian website like I do, then you should teach Young Earth Creationism as facts on your website, because this will allow fellow brothers and sisters in Christ to learn about Young Earth Creationism, which is the real science. God does exist, and there is proof for God's existence in the Bible. Here is Genesis, or here is Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1, 1, KJV. Genesis 1, 1 proves that God does exist. The nature around us also proves God's existence. If there is painting, then... That is proof of a painter. If there is a designer, well, if there is a design, then that is proof of a designer. There is creation, which is nature, and that is proof of a creator. Painting, painter. Design, designer. Creation, creator. The nation, I mean, the nature around us is creation, and God is the creator. God created nature, and this proves that God does exist. Intelligent design is completely true. The evidence for intelligent design are found... Well, all of the evidence for intelligent design are found in Genesis chapter 1. Now let's view Genesis 1, 20 through 28. And God said that the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven, and God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind, and God saw that it was good, and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and that fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beasts of the earth after his kind, and it was, and it was so. And God... <clears throat> no, and God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. 
and God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the, or over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Genesis 1, 20-28 KJV um, Alright, so... Um, um, the, the entire chapter of Genesis 1 proves intelligent design. Alright, so, Darwinian evolution is completely false, and Darwinian evolution is completely unscientific, since intelligent design scientifically refutes Darwinian evolution. There is no evidence for Darwinian evolution at all, and any evidence that is presented for Darwinian evolution is false evidence. Darwinian evolution is also a damnable heresy, since Darwinian evolution is racist, and the Bible scientifically refutes Darwinian evolution. And the Bible is 100% true. Since the whole Bible is completely true, if a doctrine contradicts the Bible, then that doctrine is false doctrine. Since the, uh, all right, so, since Darwinian evolution is a racist doctrine that contradicts the Bible, Darwinian evolution is a damnable heresy that is splitting hell wide open. All racist doctrines are refuted by the Bible, since the whole Bible is completely against racism, and racism is a hateful sin, since the Bible is completely against racism. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, have a nice day, and goodbye. Well, hello everyone. Alright, so today's video is going to be the FAQs about Young Earth Creationism. Okay, so in, in this video, I will be answering um 13 of the frequently asked questions about Young Earth Creationism. And here we go. How old is the Earth? The Earth is 6,000 years old. Abraham was born 2,000 years after Adam was and then Jesus Christ was born around 2,000 years after Abraham was, and 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came to the world to save us, and Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. These facts prove that the earth is 6,000 years old. Why does God allow suffering? The, the reason why... Um, I saw... The reason why this happens is that Adam and Eve sinned, which resulted in the fall, and because of this, man have sinned, and it is man's fault. Therefore, we cannot blame God for the suffering that goes on in the world. Is evolution scientific? Absolutely not. Darwinian evolution is completely unscientific, since Darwinian evolution is easily refuted by the Bible and the whole Bible is 100% true. And since the whole Bible is 100% true, if any, so if any doctrine contradicts the Bible, then that doctrine is false due to that doctrine being refuted by the Bible. Humans have always reproduced after their, kind, after their own kind, and animals have always reproduced after their own kind. And this scientific fact is proven in the book of Genesis, and this scientific fact refutes the fabricated theory of evolution. Darwinian evolution is a worthless fairy tale that is easily refuted by the Bible, and because of this, Darwinian evolution is a damnable heresy that is splitting cow wide open. How many animals went onto the ark? It was seven pairs of clean kinds and one pair of unclean hinds that went onto the ark. How do you get saved? 
To get saved, all you have to do is to repent and trust alone in Jesus Christ, and works are not required for your salvation. Since Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 proves that works are not required for your salvation. How many races are there? There is only one race, which is the human race, and that one race is also known as Adam's race and the Adamic race. Um, since we are all descendants of Adam and Eve, we are all one race. There is no such thing as black people or white people, since we are all different shades of brown. The amount of melanin in our skin is what determines our skin tone. For example, someone with a lot of melanin is dark brown, not black. Someone with a moderate amount of melanin is medium brown, not gray. And someone with a little bit of melanin is light brown, not white. The, the biblical fact that we are all descendants of Adam and Eve proves that everyone is all one race. And there are actually three different names for the one race that we are that we all are. And those three different names are the human race, Adam's race, and a a Adamic race. And those are the three different names of the one race that we all are. Is homosexuality a sin? Yes, homosexuality is a sin. First Corinthians six nine through ten warns that homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. Homosexuality is also an abomination that is a disgusting perversion of marriage and sex. Did the Big Bang ever happen? Absolutely not. The Big Bang is a fairy tale just like Jack and the Beanstalk, Darwinian evolution, Cinderella, atheism, and the Tooth Fairy. The Big Bang never happened and there is no scientific evidence for the Big Bang, and any evidence that is presented for the Big Bang is fabricated evidence. Is carbon dating reliable? Absolutely not. Carbon dating, aka carbon-14, is, absolute, is absolutely unscientific and unreliable, since carbon dating gives a false age. Is abortion a sin? Yes, abortion is a sin, since abortion is murder. The Sixth Commandment says, you shall not kill. Abortion is a violation of the Sixth Commandment, therefore abortion is a sin. There are also no excuses for abortion at all, and abortion is never ever okay. When did the dinosaurs go extinct? Most of the dinosaurs perished in the global flood, which resulted in a lot of dinosaur fossils that are in the ground. And um, if you dig through the rock layers, then you are going to find billions of dead things buried in rock layers, laid down by water all over the earth. The dinosaurs that were taken onto the ark were baby dinosaurs and were not big dinosaurs. Then the dinosaurs went extinct sometime after the global flood. What about the gap theory? The gap theory is a false doctrine since the gap theory attempts to add to scripture, and the Bible warns against adding or taking away from scripture. Was the earth created in six literal 24-hour days? Yes, God created the earth in six literal 24-hour days and then rested on the seventh day. In the verses from Genesis 1 that says on the evening and the morning for the number day, the word day means a 24-hour day. If you study the context of Genesis 1, then you will find that the word day in the verses that says on the evening and the morning were the number day means a 24-hour day. Uh, Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day, and goodbye.